It's the Woods Hole Historical Museum's 50th anniversary, and they're celebrating with a party in your kitchen. Assuming, that is, you have a copy of their newly released volume, Woods Hole Cooks Something Up for the 21st Century. There are 300 local recipes reflecting Woods Hole's diversity and flavor. Our local kitchen host extraordinaire, Gail Blakely, is featuring the book on her latest edition of Falmouth is Cooking. Here's a little preview. Here with me today, I have uh, Charlotte Emmons Moore, who is, was the editor of the cookbook, and uh, um, Sally Piccini, who is, after one year, almost coming up on an anniversary, huh? Um, in uh, executive director of the Woods Hole Museum. One of our committee members said, we need to do another cookbook. It's time. It's another generation's turn. Oh. So when I was chair of the fundraising committee, I said, oh, OK, I'll help to make that happen. Uh -huh. And so fast forward, we have a wonderful committee, a cookbook committee for mm -hmm. the museum. And we've all been working very hard for almost two years now to bring this together. You also walked into this halfway through, right? The cookbook committee had already started and suddenly you became executive director? I, I did, It's a yes. good thing you like to cook, huh? Yes, yeah. it is. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> good. Um, it's, it's really been a, a joy and I just have to, to say to, that Charlotte has just made this happen. She's, she's been amazing and um, has been here from start to finish, and, and the, the beauty of it is really due to her. Well, thank you, but I also have to say in return that we had a very fabulous committee that came together oh, to help yeah. and, and give back to our community and to yeah. the museum. Great. And we are cooking one of your favorites, yes. um, Sally. Some people might use frozen lima beans, and you know, you mm -hmm. can just sure. use what you have. Yes. And whatever ham, and I think you could probably even do this with pancetta. What we're going to do is add some cream, and uh, we have heavy whipped cream. In goes the cream and I put a little bit more than a half a cup. I'm going to keep some here just in case we want to add it. I'm going to turn this heat up. When we toss it with the pasta. Okay. Um, you think a little more? I think a little more. Do you like after the fact I told you, you it's your recipe and you've made it before <laughs> I'm telling you what to do. And then we're going to get to taste this. 